Hi everyone, today we're going to take a quick look at how to deal with dual extrusion prints on the Imaginator 3D. Uh, a lot of gotten a lot of questions on how to handle these and I'll show you how it's done. First thing you need to do is download Makerware from from MakerBot and uh, you can go there and uh, Google just Google Makerware, it'll take you right to the web page. Um, also, uh, once you get that done, you'll need a web browser and we'll browse over to Thingiverse pick out a dual extrusion print and uh, we'll handle it with MakerWare and show you how to uh, shoot out a file that you can put on your SD card and then put in your Imaginator 3D. So without further ado, let's go. All right, let's get started. Go to your uh, your web browser, whichever, whichever one that might be, Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer and uh, go to www.thingiverse.com, which I'm here. If you type in uh, in the search box, dual extrusion, enter, and you'll get uh, a lot of uh, selections pop up to the screen. Pick one. I'm going to pick just a familiar one because you've dealt with it before, which is the dual traffic cone. All right, and if you click on download this thing, but uh, well, let's let's talk before we do that. Let's talk about the uh, the different views that we have here. These are the two views. There, there are two. There will be two files. One file will look like this. One file will look like that. And that's where your dual color comes in because what you're going to do is you're going to set this file to one color in MakerWare and then you're going to set this other file to a different color in MakerWare which will be your other uh, extruder. Uh, and so click on download this thing. It'll take you down here. You want to pick the two. The two you, you can use these but um, they're, they're not going to work as well. These are the two at the bottom here that you want to you want to pick. Uh, traffic cone rings orange. Download that one. And then download traffic cones white. Okay, once you have those files then you want to bring those up in MakerWare and just do one of just do one file at a time and here I'll show you how I'm going to do that bring it up and then I'm just going to drag it over here all right so this is uh, this is the first file I'm going to change the color of this file or actually uh, what I'm going to do is change the extruder okay and so uh, let's see this is a new version so to go to object information which is the eye they've changed these up recently and select that object and we're going to set that to the left extruder okay see how it changed colors okay and now we're going to do the same thing with the other file and it come in selected as the orange well, let's do it. Let's make this one orange, and then we'll make the other one red. And all I'm doing is changing up the sides that the extrude the extruded plastic will come out. Either it will come out. So what's going to happen is it's going to print this in one color, print this in the second color, print this in the first color, print this in the second color, print this in the first color. Okay. And with MakerWare, you will go in and make your settings. Uh, temperature, depending, you'll set your temperature as needed. You'll set your bed temperature as needed. I always recommend that you slow the speed down a little bit. Now, for this particular print, I know you don't have to because uh, it will print well at full speed. Uh, save settings. And then to export this, if you, if you are using MakerWare as your primary print program and you can send it you can send it right to your printer at this point I don't have my printer turned on so I'm going to show you how to um, send this to I'm going to save this as 
you can save this as a theme file and we'll show these to you and then we'll go to to the SD card uh, I, I use this a lot if I'm, I'm wanting to print things quickly and I'm trying to move it from one place to another place I'll send everything out as a as a as a thing file I have not used the object file very much this is an STL file this is just like what you imported into MakerWare uh, from the website and that's if uh, you however if you export this it will export this entire model as an STL which will be in one color because you have to have two STL files to be able to create a dual extrusion print so if you export this as a as an STL file it will go out and it will print as one uh, one color out of one extruder okay so what you what we want to do is we want to export this out export and it exports and then it'll give us it'll give us our selection here um, to create a print file which can be used with MakerBot 3D printer. Okay, export now. Brings up this. Now you uh, you want to use this file type X3G. You're going to save it, and I'm just going to save this to my desktop just to to. Uh, and you want to name it. So this this will actually be a dual color print. So. I, I'm I, I'm gonna put a D in front of it, and I'm gonna put a, a traffic traffic ugh, cone and save this file. Now this will print out once I've loaded it onto my SD card. You can see that it, it's gonna take a little bit. It's actually slicing this. And it's making this into a binary file, which is not editable after after you've sliced it. Uh, it's no longer editable and so it, it is uh, it's very important that when you slice this that you have the correct device selected to export okay so in this case it went as a replicator dual which that's that's equivalent to what uh, the imaginator is uh, and so that's you want to make sure you have that set beforehand I'm, I'm neglected to tell you that but you may you want to make sure that that's selected so it's still verifying, it's printing, now it's printing it to the file and you won't be able to see it pop up on my screen over here but I'll, once it gets over here I'll, I'll drag the file over and show you what it looks like. Alright, it's, it's, it's finished, now you can't, and I'm going to minimize these and I'm going to pull up I'm going to drag over the file so you can see it now this is a binary file you can't you can't do anything to it um, you, the only thing you can do to it is drag it onto your SD card and then put it into your printer and print I hope this has been good information for you until next time happy printing